morning guys Jeff with HKS Systems Lock and Safe hope everybody's doing well today um, this morning we're working on some stuff we just got our shipments in of the Securam uh, these are the EL0601 pivot bolts um, they all came in with the digital system installed so if you don't know Securam basically uses all the same lock bodies uh, swing bolts square bolts slam bolts a couple other oddballs they have um, but they have two different keypad systems. They have a digital keypad system, which is going to be your ProLogic and ScanLogic. These are like the more advanced things. Uh, with You can have fingerprint technologies, or these use uh, schedules and different users, um, time delays, things like that. It's more of a commercial and high-end stuff. But these are considered digital, which is the ProLogic and the ScanLogic digital systems. The basic safe logic ones are uh, considered analog, so they're more simpler. A couple users, that's about it. Um, but uh, they, the weird part is, the batteries are all the same, and the keypad obviously mounts the same, but the lock recognizes them completely differently. So if you see right now, this lock is locked up. Let me just zoom in here a little bit. Um, locked up. It's right now connected to the digital format, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can see that unlocks it. Keeps it unlocked for five seconds, then it relocks it. And so if we unplug that, it's going to use the same code. And no people sometimes think, hey, if I just change the keypad, I could open it up. No, the, the numbers are stored in the lock bodies, not in the keypads. For obvious reasons, you would just come to open a safe. You could just pull the keypad out, put your own on, and use your number. Obviously, that's stupid. It's, it's all stored inside. So if you take the analog keypad and you sh plug it in, once again, same cord, same cable, same hole, everything, you'll see it does not do anything. Well, what the hell? Um, so what you have to do is basically reset this from digital status to analog status. You would unplug this. It's really easy to do. Um, unplug that. And then you get your poker of choice. Let me just zoom in a little closer so you can see that. Um, you're going to, underneath these QC um, stickers is the reset button. So you're going to push that down. You'll feel a little spring pressure under there. Push it down, hold it. And then make sure you have batteries in the keypad, obviously. You're going to plug in. And you're going to hear that beep. Then you're going to release. And then you can see it's still locked. Now that works. So what you're doing is basically switching its language, if you would, from digital language to analog language. And then... Uh, once again, if you take that out and put it back to the digital, it does not talk back and forth now. So it's sort of uh, programming the way it uh, interprets the input from the keypads. Digital, which is going to be your ProLogic scan logics, and all your safe logics, which are the simpler of the keypads made, are going to be analog. So if you need service for this, Give us a call, HKS Systems, Lock and Safe, 847-204-7046. Big fan of the Securam. Um, I've used AMSEC, which is pretty good. Some of the AMSEC line is not bad. Lagarde, Sergeant and Greenleaf, and I'm a big fan of the Securam. Just seems to be a simpler system. They all use the same lock body, uh, same programming, same cords, same mounting, same everything. So something I uh, can have a choice of who I use for my suppliers and I really do like their stuff. They have good technical support um, if you have any issues, good warranty as well and I've never really had any problems with these. I have them on my own personal safes. So if you need service for this give us a call. HKS Systems Lock and Safe 847-204-7046. Thanks. Morning guys, it's Jeff with HKS. I was just following up on this. Um, I also have what's called the uh, Securam Magic Box or Black Box, they call it. Um, really, you don't need this, but I just bought this because I am a big seller of the Securam stuff. Um, it's a little unique thing that you could take with and plug in. You see, there's only one port on most of these. 
Um, you could plug in that model. Uses the same cord as the rest of the stuff. All you're going to do is hit test then. It, it gives you an option of test. And it'll test which function this is. So we could switch it and it'll basically fire that. Test it once. And then it locks it. Pretty neat. Um, like I said, so it'll basically show that uh, everything is working. It's a quick way to figure out if your wires are cut or your lock's not working. You just come in with this, test it, and it's going to tell you if it's the lock body that's bad or a keypad that's bad. So it saves a lot of time. Um, it'll do this in both models. So uh, if you need any service for this, Securam safes, lock safes, anything like that, give us a call. HCAS Systems Lock and Safe, 847-204-7046. Thanks.